Day 9 of Pikmin 4. Alright, well we can go to a new area today. I believe that's what we want to do. But first let's talk to everybody and find out what's going on. Let's get the 411. Oh, look at that. Now we're able to get to the dolphin. That was weird. Now the thing blocking it is just gone. The rescue command post was getting a bit crowded, so we started clearing a new area when we came upon something odd. A spaceship in disrepair. Huh? It's clearly missing its captain. They're probably out there somewhere in need of rescue. We'll do our best to find them. I almost forgot. We also found some raw materials while establishing the new area. Please put them to good use. Oh, 20 obtained. That's not a lot. You're brimming with pup drive, Ochi. You can train with me anytime. Okay. That's kind of interesting. You can only have three types of Pikmin, though. Piklopedia. Just imagining... Da, da, da. Now then. Any new ones? This guy is apparently new. Poor Quillian? Huh. Blue Pikmin are new as well, I guess. I mean, we faced him in the pregame thing with Olimar, but... How can you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Wait, what in the world? Please. Bye for now. I didn't mean to click on you. I want to get more blue Pikmin. Let's look at the treasure catalog. Ah, oh, you collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. Hey, there we go. 50 raw material for 50 treasures. Nice. That's a pretty good amount. Please, if you will, let me appraise as many goodies as possible. I tell you, I'm always excited to lay eyes upon a new treasure. Oh, okay, now we gotta get to 100, huh? Alright, view the treasures. Deceptive snack. Cookle, cookie? of nibbled circles, SS chocolate, orb of destruction, a perforated raft, hmm, memory fragment, top left, fire breathing feast, dusty bed, what is that supposed to be? Chalkboard eraser, oh, okay. And we completed the Great Adventure series, Temporal Mechanism. Illumination Goo. <laughs> Is that? Nope. Child of the Earth. Daughter of the Earth. Mysterious Carriage. And a Snack Bean. Satellite Shield. Skin of the Phoenix. Aspiration Ritual Ball. The Talisman of Life Crane. Talisman of Life Moon. Huh. Interesting. Do drop by any time you like to use the catalog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What you got for us? You think that you got uh, this under control? Is that it? No one can pull a fast one on me. Hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. 30 received. I see. Well, you're not done yet, newbie. Keep at it and finish the job. Now I gotta get two areas. Ah. Anything here? Whose spaceship is that? So, I mean, so far, nothing up here or anything. But I wonder what the area is for, though. It's a pretty big area. Look at that. The whole area behind it's big, too. There he is. Ochi came back to you. Huh. Alright, well, let's talk to him. Such a pleasure to speak with you. I am Francois, botany specialist and enthusiast. Are you a plant lover, too? For years I've been working on two-way communication between plants and, well, us. I think Pikmin might be the key. Hmm. Kindness. That's why I love plants and Pikmin. They're kind. They listen when you talk and accept you, whoever you are. 
who wouldn't want a friend like that? There'd be so much less sadness in this world if everyone could befriend a Pikmin. For the good of civilization, we must propagate more Pikmin. Help me with this task for a token of my thanks. Grow the Pikmin population. Zero out of 300. Oh, from here on out? Zero out of 300? Dang. Doesn't count the ones we have already. Alright, what do you got for us, dude? Create a new item. Well, I'll do a prototype of the materials I had on hand. Sure. Homesick signal. Pikmin go missing. Call them back to the SS Beagle. What? Oh, to the Beagle. So then how does that work, though? Because we bought the one that will apparently bring them back to us. But I don't... Like, what? Sure. We'll buy it. Hmm. Sure. That'd be nice for Ochi. A mine? When this bomb senses movement of a creature, it explodes. Kihi, you can even stick it to those pesky creatures. What the heck? No way. Okay, sure. It's a bomb that explodes when it detects motion from living things. Plus, it's kind of sticky. Try attaching one to a creature. <sighs> Holy crap, okay. Come back and see if there's anything else you need. Gotcha. Improve your abilities each day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, I will watch you to progress, and you've inspired me to create a new training course. See, when you're plucking Pikmin sprouts, I believe Ochi can help if you learn to pluck. I've also added some training to beef up his dig skills so he can dig faster than ever. Oh. Let's learn pluck. That would help. Nice. And he's got a lot of stuff he can do. So is that really that many rescue people for us to do? Wow, scrummy bone times one. You put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. And I have a special treat for you. Keep it the good work. Remember, no slacking. I think you're the one who's slacking. I'm, I'm doing all the work. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, wait, hang on. We're Captain Olimar and our missing rescue officer. Sorry, hang on. Whenever you're ready. There's only one right here. Or did we get that already? Okay, we did. If you're not sure what you need to do, whatever. Jerry, you'd like to explore. Let's check out the new area. Whoa, it's pretty far away. Serene Shores, huh? According to the radar, there's several SOS signals in the new area. I mean, we gotta do it, right? Okay, let's do it, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's travel to Serene Shores now. Heck yeah, dude. Off we go. Say bye, everybody. I'll jump with excitement. They're like, yay, we don't have to do anything. <laughs> Joel and Ochi will handle it all. <laughs> Here we go. Serene Shores. Zero percent so far. I mean, that's to be expected, right? But all right, let's see what this area has to offer for us. I mean, it sounds pretty cool, Serene Shores. You know, I'm kind of picturing, uh, I don't remember what that map was called, that area in Pikmin 3, but there was a really cool one in Pikmin 3 that had, like, a beach. I th actually, I think I'm maybe one of those, like, battle modes. But, uh, yeah, there were some really cool ones in 3. So I'm hoping it's kind of like that. 3 had a lot of really cool, interesting ideas and stuff. So let's see. Ooh. Is that, like, little sand castles and stuff? Oh, hello. I know you. Whoa. I do like this like little cinematic video that they play on the way in. That's really cool. Alright. Huh. Let's see. Where and what to do first, I guess. Probably we get blue Pikmin? I imagine you suggested blue and ice. Okay. Well, let's just grab like 20 of each, I guess. Something like that. I wonder what would happen if you... I mean, like, I guess you could come here without blue Pikmin. But, like, it would suck, you know? Like, you could do this kind of stuff with, you know, with just ice Pikmin. Well, I guess some of it you could. Not all of it, though. Hello, that's what's his name. 
Is there five on that? Five, okay, yep. Cool. Do we have a map yet? Oh my goodness, look at this place. Dude, what? What, what was that? Something looked like it, oh, what in the world? I was gonna say something looked like it freaking blew up, but. <laughs> All right, how many do we need here? Nope, not Ochi. 80? I guess it's freezing like the whole thing. Is that who I think it is? Dang. Well, we can't do that yet. What in the world? We only have half of that. And then you still need Pikmin, like, besides that, you know? To, like, do the other stuff. Is there anything over here? Hidden in these little flowers? Treasure gauge isn't going off. I don't see any little things for us to dig. Oh, hello. I know you. you look a little different. I know you as well. I was going to send Ochi a bit of shoot. Or to, to hit him, but it's fine, I guess. I don't know if Ochi can attack in the water. Can he? Sure. What in the world? Leave all but no. I don't want to do that. There we go. There we go. Got you. Alright, let's see what uh, this totally not Olimar fellow is up to. Got another castaway person. Uh oh. Who's this freaking green dog thing? It's that leafling again. And I figure lying down over there might just be our pilot. Uh oh, he's taking him in again. This is no joke. They could be turned into a leafling. What are you waiting for, newbie? Hurry up and save him. Uh, let's look at it real quick. Battle in a box. Five minutes. Five minutes? Wow. I mean, it's not going to really tell me anything about it, I guess. It's not going to tell me, like, how hard it is or, you know, whatever. I guess it's fine, but... Oh, look, there's an area up there, too. How do I get up there, though? Do I build this little wall thing right here? Oh, we gotta destroy the wall. Why am I doing that? I can just, yeah, launch them like that. There we go. Who are the five just hanging out? They already brought something back, I guess. Why'd you guys go all the way around that way? That's weird. Toss these guys up here. Start working in this area, I guess. What? What are you guys doing? What'd you bring back? Oh, they brought back a five pellet. Dirt wall demolish. Nice. These other guys are working on that. Good, good. Why is Ochi just chilling there? Uh oh. Hey -o. Clay bridge completed. There we go. Nice. Oh, she has arrived. Let's start working on that. Nice. How do I oh, I gotta, how do I get around though? Oh look, it's that guy. That guy freaking stinks. I did not like that guy in three. Can I toss him up there? I can, nice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's good. So, for this area, what, do we just 
go up and around and such and try not to get hit or whatever. Try not to get ran over. He just like barfs it up though. He's <laughs> just like, Bleh. Oh look, look at that guy. Get more. Uh, what do you call them? Little flower Pikmin. Is that seagulls I hear? It's kind of a cool detail. I mean, we are at like a beach thing. Nice. Alright. I wonder if I can have just this one blue attack this guy. You need others to help carry him, but still. Good boy, Ochi, you made it back. Why can't Ochi help him? That's weird. I don't understand. Let's go grab the rest of our Pikmin. Come over back this way. And I guess we'll... Well, that's about it, right? I don't know if I want to go up that way and potentially get ran over and stuff. But then how do we... So how do we make it across there, though? How do we get there? Just go through the water, I guess? I guess we could hop on Ochi or whatever. Yeah, just bring Blue Pikmin over there and destroy that. Work our way that way. Maybe we'll do that. And then we'll come back and we'll get some of this other stuff in a minute. Like, we'll go in that cave afterwards and such. There's a treasure here. Hey, oh, look at that. A little dice. Sweet. Okay. Well, in this case, we'll just take these guys that we have right now. Well, maybe we'll grab these guys too and make it go by a little bit faster. We'll come across. We'll start breaking down what Giza is talking about. Is that the Statue of Liberty? What in the world? Uh oh. Is that who I think it is? One of those crab guys? What? What's happening? Whoa! Is it like low tide or something? Did the water just. The tide appears to ebb in the afternoon. That ought to make it a lot easier to explore now. No freaking way. Alright, well, in that case, let's work on the. Oh, okay. They all just got ran over! Holy crap! Okay, uh, rewind time. How far back are we doing it? Two minutes? Okay. That's not terrible, I guess. <laughs> what? Alright. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't do that before. Are we still getting the treasure cube things back? No, not yet. Dang it. Alright, well. Let's try that again. And then we'll wait for the afternoon or whatever. So, hey, that makes sense. Okay. So we don't actually need, you know, the 80 Pikmin or whatever. I was like, yeah, dude, we're not gonna be able to get to that till freaking late in the game then. If we need 80 for that, like, that's crazy. But, okay. Alright, well... Maybe we could just have Ochi go for him or something? I mean, let's... Should we just skip him for now? And we'll come back. I do want to check out over here, though, first. Look, there's a treasure right there. 
Is this one of those guys? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. There we go, now it's receding again. So does that guy just not appear until after? That's kind of weird. The water just like, the, if I, I mean, I guess if we froze it or something like that, is he just not gonna appear if we somehow did get 80 ice Pikmin or whatever? But did the water just, the tide appears to ebb in the afternoon. That ought to make it a lot easier to explore now. Okay, so then what we can come over here, we can pull that thing, open this up, that'd be good. I don't want the guys to take stuff back that way though. Let's go, Ochi. Good way to take care of these. Just freaking three hits them, dude, that is awesome, that is a great skill. Nothing over here, right? Gonna surprise us? Let's help this out. Hope I go by faster. Nice. going that way. I don't like you going that way. <sighs> Crud. Yeah, I really don't want you to go that way. <laughs> oh, no. What about up top here? Oh, yeah, there's like a little baby one. That's kind of cool. Um, what if... Can Ochi attack? Little geyser. Let's go. She's taking some damage, but he's, he's doing it though. The other one's almost freaking dead. Let's just take out the little baby one first. That's where some of the damage, a bunch of the damage, was coming from. Uh oh, come on. You got this. Let's turn about Ochi's HP. You can do it. Come on, dude. Whoa! Is that new? Let's go! There we go. Okay. Perfect. That is really good. I do like that. Okay. Let's come back and grab all the rest of our guys. Um, I mean, now that we got that, that would be great. And it, it looks like the creatures stay dead, though. But she's not healing. Did we not get that upgrade? Maybe we didn't, huh? Interesting. Um, yeah, let's just start getting some of this raw material up there, and then here in a second we can go into that cave, I guess. That's what we'll try to do. Do we need yellows to get up there, though? No, we need Ochi, and Ochi's carrying something back. Dang it.
Okay. So what is this? Just things we need to destroy? I guess it's blue, hopefully. So other people can come over here safely. That's interesting. Um, wait a minute. Can I have him come here? Come here. There we go. Come here, Rochi. Is he coming? There we go, now he is. Sweet. Good, good, good. That way I don't have to go all the way back and then come over here. I guess I could switch to him and manually come over, but... Nah, I don't want to do that. Okay, come on. I wonder what's up there. What are you doing? Come on. There you go. Grab that one. Perfect. Well, we're not probably going to have the chance to be able to explore that. That's fine, I guess. I wonder if the body will stay right there. Huh. Okay, anyways. Well, then we can come over into that as soon as they're all done. Basically, I guess as soon as Ochi gets back, huh? Where are we at? So we're at 89. Ochi will bring back and we'll, that'll put us at 90 and they'll come in here, we'll do this and then that'll be a day which in that case, you know, looking at the map we'll have pretty much gotten everything in this area right here and a lot of stuff up here, wait, there's a cave right there? what? no, there's not, what? are you? am I tripping? oh, it's that big old pile thing right there how did I not see that? what? <laughs> Oh, I guess the Statue of Liberty was up there, too. I forgot about that. There we go. Pile of raw material transported. Nice. Okay. Well, we're just going to go ahead and do this. It's interesting. It's not, not telling me the difficulty or anything when I'm about to jump in now. But, okay. Two little things. But that's why I'm curious to see if, like, the if it adjusts. Like, since this is the second time we'll have done this, it will go up in level like this. You know, it's not like I come to a new area and all of a sudden it's like five, and I go to another area and it'll be back to two or something like that. I wonder if it's just, no matter what area of the game you go in, it literally progresses, like, like easiest, you know, and it progressively gets harder. Not, you know, it's not like in two where you could potentially just go into one of the hardest caves in the game, like, right off the bat or something, you know. So you've come again. Those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet, but if they grow the leaves, we can return them to life. I will determine if you have the strength to save them with a Dandori battle. But this time, there will be one more rule. What? Where's the other rule? One must be ready to change tactics at a moment's notice. What? What's the difference? What are you talking about? This round, an object or creature's value can increase for a brief window. These higher values make them bonus finds. When you transport and collect the bonus finds, you can earn double the points. Do you think you can out Dandori me? Oh, okay. There we go. Huh. Interesting. I will not be holding back. Okay. Wait, is there a guy out there? Oh my gosh, there is. <gasps> Bonus finds. There we go. There we go. We'll work on that. That. Dang, are you 10? Come on, man. Click to the bonus find. What are you doing? You coming over to steal our thing? We're at 14. Okay, so we're already ahead. Nice, nice, nice. Come 
Uh, freeze him. And attack. Nice. Although that kind of stinks, though. Oh, yes, I've increased my Pikmin. Boo. They're central to Dandori. Dang. Uh-oh, there's the bonus one again. Katie, we gotta hurry. Bonus? That guy's a bonus now? There we go. Okay. Come on. Well, now's the perfect time to take that back. That'd be really good. 34? Oh, dang. Okay, that put me in a pretty good spot. This is a good match. Okay. This should be good, though. Get a bunch of stuff, this stuff back. I don't know what you're doing, buddy. Let's come over here and we'll grab this, if we can. Nice, that'll be good. We'll come over and grab this other one. Two minutes left, it's going pretty well. I mean, we're already double his. What? What are you doing here now? Working on it? Yep, perfect. That's good. Almost got this guy. Collected a bonus find. Okay, uh, in that case. Hey, Rochi, you can take that back. I only got two on that. Dang it. Let me grab all our guys, man. I wish I could make this full screen. This is kind of annoying me. Continue like this, I will lose. my guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we lose a Pikmin? We might have did. Ten seconds, come on. Well, we're doing alright, I guess. It wasn't terrible. 180, I mean, we still smoked them. Still, I wonder if we're going to get, like, that platinum medal or whatever for it. That'd be interesting. Alright, you won. By at least 30. Hmm, okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Whatever. Alright. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of Dandori. I leave the rest to you. Adios, buddy. Hmm, off they go again. Thankfully, you recovered the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory. So then we just grab this guy, and then what? Now we have three of them, because we have still yet to find the doctor, right? Unless this is the doctor, but if, like, the doctor is one of these people, then how do we save him? Because we're not a doctor. So I'm, I kind of want to, at this point, like, just go to all the different areas, you know? And only do these. That way we just have a giant pile of these leafling thing guys just hanging out on the ground in the, the hub area. You know, we just have, like, six of them or something like that. That would be awesome. All right, there we go. Nice. Transport the castaway to the SS Beagle, ASAP, Joel and Ochi. Cool. Uh, I don't know. Yellow or red, I guess. Try 
retrieve any straight Pikmin. Okay, they're going to go to a good area. Nice. Let's just come over and we'll start digging up this other cave, you know. At least get this exposed, because like I said, I had no idea this was even here. Excavation completed. Olimar, Sub-Zero Sauna. The temperature keeps dropping the further I dive underground. It's as if I'm in a sauna, but the air is stiflingly cold instead of hot. My spacesuit protects me, but the Pikmin keep shivering. I wonder if there's a way I could warm them up down here. Hmm. Alright, interesting. Whoa, that's a little kiwi thing. That is interesting, huh? Uh-oh. What is that? That's like a giant freaking cloud thing. What the heck? Excavation completed. New cave discovered. All right, there we go. We brought it back. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe Russ will have more success getting their ID information. Error, PNF 404. Error, unable to read data. Huh? Does this mean that when someone becomes a leafling, their biometric authentication data becomes unreadable? Even if science is unable to solve this problem, then I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Huh, new cave discovered. Can I reach this yet? No, nope. I need yellow. Why did I not grab yellow? What else we got? Oh, we got all this stuff over here. Seven, six. Huh. I mean, what is that? Oh, it's a base. Dang, we should have. Came over here and undone this. That way we could land here. Be a really good place for a base. What is that thing? What the heck? Dude, this area is wild. Whoa! This is actually really cool. I do like this. There's a lot of neat and interesting areas in this game. But that's what I really like about these Pikmin games. Is each game, you know, comes up with new ideas and new cool areas and stuff. And I find it also interesting in this game, though, too, that they kind of have adopted more, like, real-life locations. I thought it was interesting in, like, 1 and 2 that it kind of had, like, real-life kind of Earth elements to it. So that way you knew it's like, hey, this, like, game pretty much takes place, like, on Earth. But uh, this one takes it to, like, a whole new level where you're literally, like, I mean, in the very beginning of the game, you're literally, like, in someone's house or whatever. There's a freaking, like, TV there. It's crazy. So it definitely takes it to a whole another level, whereas, like, 2 was just like, oh, hey, look, there's, like, a little path over here, and there's, like, you know, some brick or something like that, or, you know, shower room. It's, like, shower tile, you know? But look at all these people over here waiting for us, man. We've got a whole freaking entourage cheering us on. Exploration results, day 9. Rescues, 10 to 11. Pup drive, 0 to 1. Sparkling discovered. Look at that, we got four total, two chance totems, but four things total for 140. All right, that brought us up to 49.55, just under 5,000. We need, what, 7,000 or 7,500 or something like that for the next thing? We got uh, 75 new blue Pikmin, that's not bad. Dang, <laughs> 276, 252, 149, and 80. Wow, so we still need like 100 plus more blue Pikmin to be up to par with all the rest, but uh, yeah. And then we. I mean, we went up 22 raw material, but we used a bunch, too. So we got more than 22, but, you know, so on. So There we go. Good day. Rescue Journal updated. I don't get it. Why do we fight? And why does everything have to be a competition? Is something the matter, boss? Nah, just a passing thought I had while watching that Dandori battle. It just strikes me as sad. Here we are, all living together and sharing the same universe. We should be friends, not foes. Makes sense. But then shouldn't we and uh, you be friends with all the creatures of the universe as well? No. Creatures? No, no. That's an entirely different situation. Well, there we go. Oh, it is 7,000. Okay, cool. Side missions. What do we got for side missions? Go to the Pikmin population. 63 out of 300. Investigate two areas. 100%. Collect 100 treasures. 54 out of 100. Okay. Nice. Cool. Good day. 